We join Dr. Mike Hartshorn in Albuquerque, who describes the 2926 restoration project. The New Mexico Steam Locomotive and Railroad Historical Society was formed in the late 90s. There were a few people who had actually been associated with this machine when they were young men and thought it would be just dandy to have an operating steam locomotive, the 2926, uh, based in Albuquerque. We thought doing the tender first would be not too expensive, it would be a good team building exercise that would allow us to get our techniques down for disassembling things, labeling all the parts and pieces so we could find them again. When the tender was done, we started working on the locomotive, that's basically almost, almost 10 years ago, and the first couple of years was disassembling everything, which found one disappointing uh, area of wear and tear, rusted metal after another. Uh, thousands of pieces had to come off, be photographed, uh, be documented, be stored in a retrievable fashion. And then, after the boiler repairs were started, we were able to begin to put appliances back on the locomotive, and slowly, bit by bit, system by system, we've been able to get the thing back together. Along the way, we've expended $2.6 million as of last December, and 161,000 hours of volunteer labor. Uh, we're at the point now where, by the end of the calendar year 2017, we'll have our first fire in the boiler to make steam to clean out all of the appliances and the valves and the passageways. That done, we'll put the pistons and the valves back in and mechanically be ready to run. We have to assemble the new electrical system which has been designed for the machine. Uh, we have to build uh, about 80% of the jacketing is yet to be finished. We've got a head start on that. Uh, that and the new insulation will go on the machine and it'll be ready for test runs. Gee, that could be a year from now, it could have moved under its own power multiple times. So it's getting to be the good part of the project. This is exciting.